Welcome back to another uh, video. Uh, Pierre Cox, uh, just a, a video series. I'm just kind of doing some uh, cooking in the kitchen, just something a little different. Uh, weather's starting to change outside and stuff. But anyway, I thought I'd give this a go. I had one on the uh, uh, YouTube there now, and uh, it was kind of an extensive day. But anyway, today I'm going to make uh, biscuits out of sourdough. Uh, discard. Uh, I started uh, some starter a few days ago and within that process it's uh, there's a little bit of discard with that. So uh, today I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, make some biscuits uh, and we hope that turns out. Uh, reading the ingredients here we got uh, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder a half a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon kosher salt, a half a teaspoon of sugar, one and a half cups all-purpose flour, a half a cup unsalted butter, and one cup of sourdough starter discard that it was fed within the previous 24 hours at room temperature anyway I got my oven heating up it's 425 is the temperature for cooking and we're going to go with that I got my uh, ingredients all set out here in the counter and uh, we're going to start putting it together and uh, hopefully it uh, makes sense and uh, Hopefully it turns out. Barb's not here today, and uh, again, she doesn't know I'm doing this, so it's going to be a surprise for her and for me. If it doesn't turn out, it's bird food. That's all I can say. Uh, never made sourdough biscuits before, so anyway, we're going to uh, give it a go. And uh, it says it makes ten biscuits. And it takes about an hour to uh, to uh, complete the process with the making of the biscuits and uh, and uh, cooking time, I guess. So anyway, with that, that's that's all I got. I'm gonna go over to the the counter here and uh, start putting my ingredients together. And I'll uh, film a little more as we get along and see how the process goes. And hopefully by the end of the day, it'll. Uh, We'll be able to have some nice biscuits there for supper. Or the birds will have some for breakfast. Anyway, if you like this video, thumbs up. Subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment and uh, we'll uh, talk to you soon and we'll bring more to you as uh, we get through the process of uh, blending the, the ingredients together. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching. I got my ingredients all laid out here in the counter, and uh, yeah, so uh, we're gonna get her started here. First, we'll uh, blend in the, the dry ingredients, and we'll uh, go from there. So first, we got the a cup and a half of flour. One and a half teaspoons baking powder. A half a teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon kosher salt. A half a teaspoon of sugar. Just to recap, we've got the, the, the cup and a half of flour. We've got the half teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of kosher salt, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of sugar, one and a half cups of flour. That's uh, that's where we're at. So we're gonna get that mixed up, and we'll uh, we'll take it from there. So that's that. Next, we're gonna add the. Uh, 
a half a cup of uh, unsalted butter. So we got the butter and all the dry ingredients in there and we're mixing it up. We're uh, using this pastry uh, cutter to blend it together. So I have all the, the dry ingredients mixed up now. We're, uh, we're, uh, we got that all done. We're, uh, we're at the point where we're gonna start adding the, the sourdough starter. So we'll, we'll add that and get it mixed up and get it into a, and that's one cup of sourdough starter. I'll just add a little at a time and make sure we get it all mixed up. My oven's heating up to uh, 425. I've got a cookie sheet, lightly oiled and ready to go. This dough starting to come together, starting to look pretty good. So that's one cup of sourdough starter. So, dough's looking pretty good there right now. And I uh, just got a flour up here. We'll get it uh, rolled out and uh, made into biscuits. And we'll get them in the oven. So now that we got the dough out on a lightly floured surface,
We fold it into thirds. And again, fold it in thirds. And pat it out. And fold it again. Good. All right. Now we'll fold it out, press it out, so it's about a half inch thick. Well, that's it. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's pretty near a dozen. We'll see how they turn out. Just gonna put them on the cooking sheet and uh, get them in the oven. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Talk to you soon. Well, I've got the, the dough all made and uh, rolled out, folded, and folded and folded. I folded it about four times and anyway, I uh, I cut out some biscuits and I thought they were a little thick so I uh, put them back together and folded the dough another time and got it pressed out. And that way you got the 11 nice looking biscuits. I don't know if you can see that. Right there, right there. Anyway, my oven is at uh, 425. And I'm going to uh, put the biscuits in there and we'll give it uh, tw 20 minutes or 35 minutes and see how it goes. And, and uh, yeah, so hopefully they turn out again. If they don't turn out, some lucky birds out there tomorrow. So anyway, we'll give you a shot of it after. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And uh, feel free to leave a comment. And, uh, this is Pierre, also known as Peter. Pierre Cooks. Love it. Take care. Well, there they are. Biscuits all done. Out of the oven and cooling. 
I don't know if you see that or not. There it is. Just a beautiful biscuit. Cooked well. About 18 minutes, 20 minutes in the oven. 425. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, again, I'm quite pleased with uh, the way they turned out. What's that camera? That cameraman's slipping. That cameraman is slipping. Anyway, I, uh, they seem to be light and floppy. Uh, cooked well through. And, uh, we'll have a little taster. Yes, indeed. You can just, that sourdough just brings out the best in that biscuit for sure. It's uh, crumbly, uh, moist, not over dry. Yeah, I'm pleased. Birds might not get this. Anyway, till the next time, Pierre Cox, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, feel free to leave a comment. And uh, you guys take care until we meet again. God bless.